I got crumbs all over me. I was just eating coffee cakes. <laughs> my name is Tara. Welcome to the Daily Nail. Uh, this is my weekday Daily Nail show. It usually is on at 11, but I wasn't feeling so hot this morning, so I pushed it back. So we're doing it at 3 o'clock now instead. Okay. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and put some peel base on my nails. I already have uh, my Manny popped off and happy Manny Monday as well, guys. Peel base. I do have a lot of staining on this set of jelly tips. I just did um, a teal set. So there's a little bit of teal under the tips. Some nails are worse than others. Kind of looking forward to today's Manny. We're going to do some color blocking. We're going to use some decals. So it should be fun. I did a color block mani over the weekend, and I liked how it turned out, and I was like, hmm. It made me just, like, I enjoyed the uh, whole color blocking experience while I was doing it, and I haven't really enjoyed color blocking lately, so because I did enjoy it, I feel like doing another one. So that's what I'm going to do. So we'll wait for these to dry. Um, this Manny is based around the August exclusive bag from Nails Truly. The theme is Dr. Seuss and it comes with all different um, decals. And uh, today we're going to use all the little fishies. From one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, another Dr. Seuss book that I love that I read to my kids. Um, I feel like I'm missing another sheet here. Because I know I did a mani. I must be out somewhere. Like on my table somewhere. So these are the ones we, we're going to use. And as you can see... Their primary colors, right? Well, with the exception of the green. We got the red, blue, and yellow. So I'm going to uh, do my, my Manny around those colors today. Um, and one now we're going to color block. Um, I'm hoping it's for to get six colors in it. So we'll do uh, red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue, horizontally. And actually, oh, I'm going to do it on the index finger. So we're going to color block the index finger. That should be fun. And then the middle and ring finger will do those white. And um, choose from the red, yellow, and blue decals, probably red and blue, for those nails. And then I'm going to do my thumb. And pinky red, I think. That's my plan. Hey, Patty, what's going on? Why are you on your way back to Florida? I'm like freaking out. Obviously, it must be something with your dad, and it's probably not something good. So I'm like, what? You just left there. It's just me and you right now. Is he okay? I gotta clean the mouthpiece of my vape. I usually do it every day, but I don't think I did it yesterday. And it's like, gunked up, kind of icky. 
I'm waiting for my peel base to dry. I just put it on. He's got an infection. Where? Or is it uh, his, where he had surgery? The neck pain's back. It's got to be related to the surgery. That's all. You know what I mean? You don't get surgery and then when you have surgery and then you get an infection, it's something to do with the surgery. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. So what did she call you? His wife? Is he in the hospital? Okay, so he was at the, he went to the doctors. All right, gotcha. So he's at Shans. Is that where you prefer him to be? So did he just have like a follow up appointment with his doctor and he went in and he was sick? And the doctor was like, holy crap, you got to go to the hospital? Or did he go to the doctor because he was sick, you know? I guess it doesn't matter. That's what it said? Get out. Pack your bags. I'll call you in a minute. Way to get the heart race, hun. That must have scared you. Jeez, I'm sorry. I hope everything will be okay. I did this Manny last night, Patty, and I just left it sugared and went to bed. And then I got up this morning and gave carrots to the guinea pigs and then I fed the cat outside. I looked down, and my index finger was chipped at the tip. Like, oh, I hadn't taken pictures or anything. So I sat down, I redid it, and I'm like, I'm not leaving them sugared. So I, um, I top coated them as usual, and then I put those three bubble gems on. I probably should have left it alone, but it looks so bare. <laughs> Get out. He pulled out his catheter on Friday and she didn't take him in. What'd she do? Put it back in herself? That, I'm joking. It was a sick joke. But, um, hello? So, what was he doing all weekend? She used the bathroom. Oh, you lost three? Dang. Well, you probably left your house nice and clean then. <laughs> huh? I just had to take some Benadryl. Because I, you know, that I'm only, it's hemophrenia and it doesn't itch, but it, the nails don't stay on as long. <laughs> So I've used the Luxie on this set, but it's itching. So I think I'm going to go back to the Emily. I think I'd rather, because these like never, ever pop off. I, I don't even, I can't even think of a time I had a whole nail pop off on me. You know what I mean? But with those, I have. What? He pulled it out of like his penis and she attacked. What? Is that what you mean? There's no, if she pulled it, if he pulled it out, there's no way to fix that. 
You got to take them back in. I don't get it. <laughs> Patty's on her way back to Florida because her dad's sick again. Yeah, catheter. I still don't want to hear about it. Nick knows you are on your way to Florida because I read him your text. I was right there and I was freaking out, you know. Yeah, what the hell is wrong with her? I'd be, if, so, if somebody under my care did that, like, if, you know what I mean? Just the lay person, I'm not a nurse or anything. No, I'm calling the ambulance. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even put, move the person into a vehicle and take them in. You know what I mean? I'm calling an ambulance. Look at me scratching away. Who's here? Somebody else joined. Well, welcome, wherever you are. I think my peel base is dry now. So we're gonna do another color block, Manny, and decals. Patty, I don't know if you missed it, but we're gonna work around these decals. They are part of the Nails Truly August exclusive bag, which is the Dr. Seuss themed bag. Comes with two dips, a um, whole bunch of decal sheets. It's more than, more than six, because I have six here, and plus I used another sheet. So it must be eight sheets, maybe, um, of Dr. Seuss decals, all different ones. Today we're going to use all the little fishies from one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. And for my dips, I had to go with several different companies for some reason my ring finger's not dry but everything else is let me show you what dips we're using so these are mostly like primary colors and we're going to stick with the red yellow and blue today um yeah okay so my thumb and pinky i'm going to use cherry tart from cn designer dips this is an awesome bright red one of my favorite reds my yellow i'm going with a glitter and there's a reason for it i'm using photon from cn designer dips and my blue is actually from lavender violets which is pretty funny but it was the shade of blue that i could find that was closest to the blue in these decals so it's a nice dark blue, not na not um like navy or midnight blue. It's a primary blue still. All right, so thumb and pinky are going to be with cherry tart the red. My index finger. I'm going to try and do these three colors horizontally twice. So six colors: red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue. And I will pick the yellow as a glitter because I don't want the red or blue to stain my yellow as I'm color blocking. And I was worried that would happen if I used a solid yellow. Okay, and then my middle and ring fingers are gonna be with Cosmic Nail Spectre, which is a white glow powder. And then I will use the decals on those two nails. So that's my plan for today's mani. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's not taking good care of him, Patty. He needs, he should be, well, I mean, he's going to be in the hospital, but he should maybe be in like a nursing home or something where they can, you know, somebody will take, you know, who knows though, nursing homes get shit all the time for not taking proper care. Uh, itch, itch, itch. This is dry. All right, we're finally dry. So these two, like I said, are going to be red. These two are going to be white and we'll color block. So the color block is going to be last. Uh, let's dip our two white nails with Spectre. I need a cupcake liner. It's like half, it's half gone. <laughs> Let's give it a stir. Mm. 
Yeah, I know. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you would have taken much better care. I hope you give her an earful when you see her, Patty. Say something to her. That's effed up. That's probably what, that could be what led to his infection, you know? What if that's what it is? So she brought him in today without his catheter properly attached or was, you know, you probably don't even know. Wonder if that's what caused the infection. I don't know about the neck pain, though, you know. I'm pouring over um, the white dip powder on my ring finger here. I'm just going to use my precision tool just to clean up around the edges any uh, dip powder that might be in the cuticle or on your skin. Dry skin. All right. I can't believe she did that. <laughs> she a nurse? Haven't heard from Kendra in a few days. When did you leave, Patty? What time? Or, like, where are you now? How's that for a question? Okay, I'm brushing off our first layer of Spectre. Now, I like to lay flat for my second layer in case there's any spots I missed pouring over. Um, I feel like this is, like, insurance almost to make sure I get everywhere. Oh, I'm using the Ked Candy Dip Liquids today, by the way. You left around 1. All right, so it's almost 3.30. What is it? Five, hour five hours, right? five hour ride for you. Okay. Looks a little tacky. I'm just going to lay back into the powder. Okay. Dominic literally just woke up. I tried with Nick and I both tried waking him up. He'll like wake up but then he'll fall back asleep. It's going to be a rude awakening when school starts. That'll change his schedule back real quick. Got to buy him some clues and some sneaker, new sneakers. His other ones are starting to come apart. He doesn't want a new backpack. He wants to use the same one. His school is having this thing on the 26th from 10 to 1. They're calling it a back-to-school celebration, but I think all it is is they're giving out backpacks and school supplies, you know, to kids.
Okay, so we're all done with Spectre. And the cool thing is these will glow under the decals. Oh, I got guinea pig hair on me. I've just read a guinea pig right before a little before the live. Uh, strawberry. <laughs> so I was holding them. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's dip the two red nails, which will be the thumb and the pinky with cherry tart. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous red. This is like a must-have red, in my opinion. Or classic red from Dipnotic is like pretty much the same. I just couldn't find it. I have so many Dipnotic dips, and this one was right on top, the CN Designer. So I grabbed this one instead. But classic red from Dipnotic is, yeah, pretty much the exact, it's like a dupe for um, Cherry Tart. And the thumb. Oh, it's nine hours, Patty? I thought it was five. Oh, dang. That's a lot longer than I thought. Shit. So you won't be getting there until 10 o'clock tonight? Plus you go through a time zone change, right? Okay, let's pour over. Yeah, I thought it was five hours. So that's all dip I pulled out just from the cuticle line. <laughs> Dip number two will lay flat this time. So I'm just going to tip this powder to the corner so I have a little pile that I can lay flat into without hitting the bottom of the cupcake liner. So you're not even at the halfway mark and then, yeah. Especially if you say you left at one, that's really two o'clock. So you left an hour and a half ago, right? See when you lay flat, it comes out nice and smooth. This dip powder looks like velvet. That's a good sign if it looks that way. 
a sign of a quality powder. Maybe it'll just be me and you here. Oh, it says there's four people. Where is everybody? Nobody else is talking? Well, welcome. I am dipping right now into um, Cherry Tart from CN Designer Dips. Um, we're going to do some color blocking next on this nail. And these two nails we're saving for decals. We're doing a Dr. Seuss one fish, two foot, two fish, red fish, blue fish. So I just applied the second layer of cherry tart to these nails. Hopefully my color block uh, works out because these colors are pigmented. Okay. Actually, I should have done this before. Let me put some dip base. I always, when you color block, guys, and if you use peel base, always put down a layer of dip base coat and let it air dry before putting down any tape. That will protect your peel base so it won't lift up when you peel your tape off a lot. You know what I mean? Um, so this is um, a must must do <laughs> when color blocking. Just got to wait on this to dry now. I should have done it earlier, but I was not thinking. And I'm going to pull out some cupcake liners for the yellow and blue dips, which we'll also be using. I know dip powder that looks like velvet. I do too, Patty. I do too. This one here that I did, this Manny that I finished this morning, is a reflective glitter. It's a thermal reflective glitter from Color My World Dips called Truth or Dare. So it's the purple one, but when it's warm, it turns silver. And like under a flash and out in the sun, oh my god, it's like crazy sparkly. Um, it's This is a super, super fine glitter, too. I just... A paste stuck on my hair. You know what? Maybe I'll put one of these Dr. Seuss hats on a nail, even though it's from a different sheet, and then one a fish on the other nail. I might do that. We'll see if I don't forget. <laughs> All right. As soon as this peel base is dry, we'll get going. And I'm going to use um, electrical tape today to color block. Last couple times I color blocked, I used washi tape, which is like um, paper. And I had a hard time removing it afterwards. But this electrical tape is more like rubbery, you know, it's stretchy and stuff. So um, I think it's going to hold up better than the washi tape. Hold up better to dip base coat, you know. And then um, because it's so wide, I will trim it, you know, narrower. Let me find my scissors because we'll need those. And I'll, almost dry. Get this red on my uh, pinky. <laughs> oh, this brush will help get get some of that staining off. Yeah, that was better. 
If you do have staining, don't worry about it. Um, by the time your mani is done, it should be gone. You'll be washing your hands at one point, rinsing them, and that will get rid of that pigment. It should. All right, we're dry. Okay. So I'm going to take this electrical tape. I'm just going to cut a small amount right now here. And I'm going to cut it again. This might be all the tape you need if it's long enough. Whoops. So this size right now doesn't really matter. We're just doing the first part of this, you guys. It's... Um, it's time consuming, but it, it, it's, it's fun. Okay. So I have just a little bit at the top. I'm going to put some dip base there and we're going to start with the red. So I'll pour over um, the red. And, you know, you don't need much base. Totally okay if it gets on the tape, too. This is just a really small spot up here at the top. Whoops. Oh, there we go. I exited out of the live. And I'm going to do two layers of um, each color as well. So I'm going to leave this tape on here for now. Just make sure the cuticle lines look good. We do brush off in between. I'll brush up. Okay, let's do our second layer. a little more difficult because it's just up at the cuticle, but it's not too bad. I'm going to lay flat since I have some powder in here. This will work just fine. Okay. And we're going to need to use this red again, so I'm not going to put it away. I'm just going to put it off to the side. Maybe I'll pour it back in. Close it up. Okay, let's brush off again. Now we'll remove this tape and we're gonna um go we're gonna do yellow next. Okay, so we got one little stripe there. You can see it. cut another straight and it doesn't matter how wide these are because what matters is the distance you leave in between the color block line and the tape okay. so we got another small one there and this is going to be yellow with this glitter. We'll see how it applies. And you just want to not get anything on the red. But even if you do, you know, because it's a glitter, <laughs> you can move it off. Okay, there we go. A 
Yes, we definitely have some glitters that are too high or stuck to other spots. No, I'll, let me pat it down, then I'll brush it off. Alright. So it's like a little bit of a bare spot, but we just did one dip. So we'll go in, we're going to do our second layer, and I'm going to lay flat. What I'm doing is just kind of dragging my brush sideways. And I don't care if a little bit gets on the tape. I just don't want any on the red, you know? Let's pull this off and see what it looks like. Couple. Hmm. I might need to hand fill a little bit of it. Oh, there's a glitter still moving. Maybe not. Okay. I'm going to leave it as is. Next will be the blue. I just want to make sure this tape's still sticky enough, but it seems, ah, uh, it's lifting. Yeah, all right, let me cut a new piece. <laughs> That's much stickier. So electrical tape works really well, I think. All right, let's do blue. Hey girl. Oh, thank you, I am too. I'll tell you, yesterday my stomach was hurting early in the day and then today I wake with a migraine. Thank God I have like yours, that prescription migraine medication because I don't know what I would do because my migraines like typically turn into vomiting and I'm out of commission and sometimes I'm out of commission for like a week. Patty's seen it, you know. So I'm doing a little bit of color blocking, Michelle, for uh, Nails Truly Manny, the Dr. Seuss exclusive bag, you know, for August. So I'm using a bunch of different companies. This is actually Lavender Violet's Blue. And then a couple dips from CN Designer. The white is uh, from Cosmic. It's Spectre. Um, so right now we're at the blue color block part right here. I'm color blocking straight down. So I'm trying to go red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue in a horizontal fashion. And then I'm going to use decals on the white nails. What do you think? And how are you? <laughs> How are you, girl? It's been just me and Patty here the whole time. 
I know Britt said she would try and stop by. She sent me a nice message uh, this morning, although I didn't see it till this afternoon. I see all of our guests are picked from Dip for Dipnotic. She picked some great girls. a little tacky layer there. Okay, brush down here. Oh my god, I hope it doesn't look like Wonder Woman or some, something. <laughs> I was going for just primary like school colors, you know. Michelle Patty, unfortunately, is on her way back to Florida. Her dad took a turn. Well, he's got an infection and fever. He had surgery last two weeks ago, maybe. Ooh. Yeah, I know. About the four people, yeah. Somebody's watching and just lurking. That's some people call them lurkers, but that sounds kind of like negative. I don't want anybody. I'm not. I don't want anybody to feel negative. That sounds so awesome. Did you use the uh, new neons, Michelle? I'm guessing maybe, and then one of the glitters. All right, so that's what we got. My blue is a little thicker than my red and yellow lines, but that's all right. There's some blue acrylic on my skin, but all right, that's Diane. At the rate I'm going, I'm gonna have more room, more than enough room for six. Wonder if I should throw a green in here and then go backwards, blue, yellow, red or something. Maybe I'll do that, but I need, hold on, I need to look, see what I have for a good green. I bet I have a good green from Cosmo or from Cosmo. Seeing green from Cosmo. No, that's Dipnotic. My Dipnotic stuff's such a mess. What's that one? Me too. Carnival. Cost. Let me see whatever I can find first. Ah, you dig up the depths. Oh, I just saw a lotus blossom, Michelle. I got a bright green right here. It's a glitter, but I could do it. I mean, it's in between the solids, right? Let's do the green glitter. Let's do it. It's going to look like a flag from some weird country. <laughs> yeah, the one with the stars. I know it's going to be incredible. Why is this tape not sticking now? I think it was because it was the loose piece. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I picked up like acrylic. All right. Try again. All 
All right, there we go. It's all wrapped up like it's like a little burrito or a towel or something. making sure I'm right up to the line. There we go. Let's sit for a second. I'll brush off. We'll do the second dip. I wonder if my cosmic came today. I was hoping it would. It would shift. I think I don't remember seeing anything on my phone like about it being like out for delivery or anything. Yeah, that's still wet. Much better. Okay, I'm gonna brush off over my trash just because these are dark. You know, they're green glitters. I don't want it to get in my blue or anything. All right, let's peel this off and see what it looks like. Okay. I want... Okay, that looks good. They're getting smaller and smaller as I go. I only wanted this to be a six color. All right, now I have plenty of space for the next three. And we'll go, we'll go backwards. We'll go blue, yellow, red. More electrical tape. Um, if anybody missed the reason I switched back to using electrical tape is because the last few times I've used washi tape, you guys. I've, um, the, like the base like goes soaks right through it's like a paper based tape you know like soaks right through and I had a really hard time getting it off whereas electrical tape just stands up to the base better Got a little bit of green glitter in there. All right, let's brush it off. Okay, we're going to do dip number two of the blue. Good. Okay. 
All right, let's peel this off. what we got now. A little hair stuck on it. There we go. Okay, we're going to go to yellow. That's called Photon from CN Designer Dips. The Cosmic Stripes. I've had issues with those, getting those to lift off, too. <laughs> that should be good. I'm going to try and push up as many of these glitters into my little line as I can get. Okay, let's push off. We'll do our second layer now. I'm going to try and pick up more of the smaller yellow glitters, right, to fill in, make sure all my spots are filled in, the whole line. All right, so I'm just going to do um, red at the bottom there. That's got glitter all in it. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, just the tip, put just the tip in, in the jar of dip. I've never done a nail like this before. Is it ugly? <laughs> kind of looks like a decorated Christmas tree with like garland on it. If it was more Christmassy colors, I guess. Oh, did I exit out of the chat? I did. 
Darn it. I'm going to go back. Where's the chat? There we go. <clears throat> okay, no, I didn't miss any comments. You working today? Oh, no, you got the day off, right, Michelle? Nice. Those green glitters off my white nails. All right, now that our application is finally done, we get to move on to uh, what we call encapsulation, which is simply putting a layer of clear over your dip, thus encapsulating your dip in clear. And I do that on every nail. I have Dipnotic Nails Clear today we're going to use. I want to switch out this brush. It's getting a little stained. Brush saver. There we go. Use the model one brush for now. Another must have if you use dip liquids. Okay, Michelle. Have fun doing your photos. And we'll be here. <laughs> you okay, Patty? encapsulate this crazy nail. Lots of base to go over everything on this. You know, it was applied in several different layers so it's got all different uh, thicknesses and stuff then you have those glitter dips which make it a little bumpy Okay, now that we've put clear over all of the nails, I'm going to brush them off. Brush them off well. Most um, clear dip powders, um, even clear acrylics are great. So you won't have to brush off like with a stiff brush or anything. Just give them a brush off and 
I mean, these clears today are really, really clear. I am going to grab a plastic bag. I'll show you guys one of my tricks when I work with glitter dips. First, I'm just going to activate my solid now. I usually do like two good layers of activator, especially like on my thumb. The brush will dry out before I've covered my whole nail. So I want to make sure I have two nice layers of activator on there. Okay, now for this um, color block. Now I'm going to get my two layers of activator on there. Now I'm going to pick up a plastic bag and I am going to press down on this nail and this is going to even out all the layers we just applied. It's going to cut down a lot on your filing time as well. As you can see this is going to be a longer life than normal. All right, so that's what we got. Doesn't look too bad, what do you think? Do you pat it? Hey, Patty, how was it when you colored in the decal? I've never tried it, that's why I didn't answer your question. Once you activate the nails, you want them to sit for a couple minutes while they cure. Um, after two minutes, they should be ready to be filed. I don't know that it's been two minutes. Let's see. Those sound like they're ready. This one, not so much yet. So I like to go in right into shaping. Starting up in my cuticle here, I'm using a 180 grit file, but sometimes I use the 100 grit side of this file. This brand of file is called ESCAF. I had gotten them on Amazon a long time ago, but I can't find them anymore. <clears throat> but I really like them just because they're so thin. I feel like I can get in my sidewalls and in those cuticles uh, nice and easily. Okay, moving on to the white nails. This is going to be a very easy mani to file. Um, even with the color block nail, I think it's going to be pretty easy. But certainly um, for me, pretty much any solid color mani is is uh, in what I consider an easy shaping mani, easy to shape. Oh, I have top messages. Where's all messages? Oh, here we go. Patty, oh, there you are. <laughs> I know Nick and I have talked about it. I'm like, I always just assumed you'd go before me, babe. You know, I know I said that I would go before him.
And he said that he always assumed he'd go before me. <laughs> Once I'm happy with the shape at the cuticle, and I might not even be fully happy with the cuticle shape, but that's okay because I also use an ergo file, which uh, is like a cuticle perfecter. <laughs> so, um, a little bump here, I think. So even though you do see me using a nail file around the cuticles, I use something afterwards too, you know. Like how you smooth out your nails, but then you still buff them to refine it. Same thing with the ergo file. Did you try calling her again, or just that's the latest update? I'm sure she'll keep you posted, right? Is he already in a room at Shan's, Patty? And <laughs> Nick singing. Start to file up there. I gotta be careful because I need it straight. All right. And they're waiting on the room. Okay. How'd they come out, Michelle? Patty, I saw your area where you are is in triple digits, the temperatures. Going from Florida, like through Louisiana, Tennessee, Alabama, Arkansas. Michelle, you got any plans later on? Off my finger from earlier. There we go. Thank you. 
couple of little imperfections in my color blocking I just noticed. Like um, where the glitters are, you know, some spots is just a little longer. But that's all right. I do have acrylic paint pens and those metallic markers. I could maybe do something with those so it doesn't look like imperfect, you know, like draw lines in between or I don't know. Nick took today off. He went to home and I got out in the kitchen laughing. <laughs> it's like the best sound to hear. I love hearing that. Them enjoying each other. We went to the trampoline park yesterday, me and Dominic. It was fun. I bounced with them. <laughs> and then we went to Popeye's to eat. And it was 30 bucks just for the two of us to eat at a fast food place. It was crazy. Ooh, a day ahead. I'm like, one color man, one color Wednesday, Manny. I'm like, wait a minute. But yeah, today's Monday. <laughs> That'll be my tomorrow, Manny. So I haven't given much thought to. I did a moon dust, Manny, last week. It was a peekaboo. I didn't like how it came out, so I never posted it. Next, I'm going to use my ergo file. And then we just got to put decals on and then decide whether we're going to add anything else. So this is the ergo file that I mentioned earlier um, that I said just, you know, cleans up anything um, your file misses. It just refines your cuticles a little more than a file can do, in my opinion. <laughs> And it doesn't take long at all to use once you've got it figured out.
All right, let's do the decal. Well, clean the nails and then do the decals and then decide about the other nails. This is rubbing alcohol. I think it's like uh, 70% isopropyl alcohol. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to leave the nail as it is because I think if I put like stripes, I don't know what colors to do. Okay, so decals. So I want a fish. I think I'm going to use a blue fish because I'm going to use the Dr. Seuss hat as well, excuse me, as well. I think that's too big. Let's go with the second smallest size here. Plus this fish is standing right side up. Some of the other fish are like laying sideways, you know what I mean? The way fish normally are when they swim. But this one's like standing on his tail. And then let's cut out. This one's from the ABC sheet. We'll go with the second biggest hat as well. I'm going to trim a little bit of the extra paper. Okay. I'm going to pop these in and then I'm going to put some gel base coat on. I'm going to use the Imali base coat. I have, you can use Tara 10 on the Imali website to save, or I have links you can use if you want to buy these, or Imali's poly gel, or the um, Hema Free um, solid nail glue gel or hema free solid builder gel um i have links for those um the amazon links where you can save 10 percent with code tara love 10 but you need the direct link so if anybody wants it let me know Good. I'm just going to care for 30 seconds and then they should be ready. I know a lot of people like to use um, stampers to pick up the images. I have a hard time with it. We can try it today. These images aren't too big, so maybe it'll work. Oh, thank you, Michelle. How's the weather where you are? It's, has it been hot or has it been? Uh, here it's been like in the 70s and low 80s. It's been like super mild. So you pick it up, you swipe the paper off. I'm gonna dab it a little because it's wet. Yeah. 
see a couple wrinkles. This gets the wrinkles out really nice. Okay, that looks good. And the stamper works, so let's do it again. If I can get this image up. Come on. There we go. Bluefish. Alright, there we go. Maybe I should pull this hat down a little. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm going to top coat the two um, decal nails. Now I'm using the Imoly Hema Free Gel Top Coat. And they also wanted me to let you know it's um, also vegan and non toxic. It's a new formula. And I have not had any issues with itchiness with any of their stuff. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, they look good. In the lamp for one minute. When they come out, we'll activate and top coat our other nails. Thanks for hanging in with this one. I know it was a well, quarter of five, yeah, so it's longer than normal. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah. And then what's going on in Hawaii? I read this morning over 800 people are missing. And you know they're not just missing. They're dead. They just can't be identified. You know what I mean? It's been over a week. So even if they survived, they're dead now. You know? Unbelievable. So sad. So we're going to use activator on our other nails. There we go. Wait a few seconds. We'll wipe off and um, then we'll top coat. It's all right. Not my favorite, Manny, but I think it's pretty cute for, um, you know, Dr. Seuss and stuff. Oh, 
wish it was a little straighter down here at the bottom, but it's hard with harder with glitters than solids. I have this giant thing of gems. I could throw a couple red ones on my pinky or something. But they're like, um, iridescent on the top, you know. Mm. I'll just leave them as they are. Thank you, Patty. It's kind of supposed to be like a whole, well, Dr. Seuss slash back to school type theme, you know, with the colors, but I don't think that necessarily comes across. That's okay. I think the colors match fine and stuff. All right. Let's top coat these babies. Whoops. <laughs> Good. Okay. Ta da! <laughs> Definitely tell it's Dr. Seuss. <laughs> we just gotta wait for these to dry. I have a red sleeve and I also have a blue sleeve. I'm kind of thinking blue. But I don't know, red might go good too. Yay. Dominic, are you in the kitchen? Oh, uh, I was going to ask one of them to go check the mail for me. Oh my God, when we got back last night, you want to do something funny? Forget it, Jay. When we got back um, from the trampoline park and getting something to eat. We took an Uber home and Nick was gone to the store. And he's like, I hope you have your keys because I'm not home. I'm like, yep, I do. And I had switched purses yesterday to take a bigger one. And uh, I didn't have my keys. 
I, Dominic had to like boost me through the window. I got like scratched up my legs and stuff, but I got us in. <laughs> Nothing, I was going to ask you to go check the mail for me. All right, these are dry. Nice. I'm live, D. Hey, I didn't say anything. Bubbly nails. I think I'm talking about it. <laughs> He's like, why are you whispering? Little something up here. Get that off. All right, now we're dry. I am like addicted to this crisp apple cider cuticle oil from Nails Truly. It smells so good. I just attached these bubble gems with top coat as I was top coating. It was like a total last minute decision. Oh my God, this smells amazing. I would highly recommend this cuticle oil, uh, crisp apple cider. It smells so good. All right, let's see if I can find my blue seed. Here's the red one. Ah, here's my blue one. Okay. Red or blue? Red? Or blue? I think blue. It makes the Manny pop one. Put my little clip on. So if you run into the problem that your nail face sleeves are too wide or whatever, and you prefer it to fit you a little better, I just use a hair clip, but a clothespin or anything, any type of clip would, chip clip or whatever would work. All right, let's pull out some jewelry. I think I'm feeling gold jewelry today. Oh, all right. This my Looney Loo designs on the work. Maybe I'll use that with this one. No, nope, that ring's too big. This ring. This charm ring that Glorimar had sent me. It's got a butterfly and a blue charm. It's super, super cute. We'll use those two rings. Actually, I think I'm just going to use the one ring. So here is the finished Manny using August uh, Nails Truly exclusive bag with the Dr. Seuss theme. It comes with two other dips. Um, it comes with cuticle oil and then it comes with 12 uh, full decal sheets. And like I said, her decals come in multiple sizes. So she's got large ones for longer nails and then smaller ones for shorter nails. So there's something for everybody on those sheets. I really like that she does that. 
You can save it now, truly. It was code Tara 15. I appreciate you guys joining me late in the afternoon. I know it was like, you know what I mean, last minute and everything. So I'm glad uh, at least you two made it. Oh, Wayne locked you out of the house yesterday. But you have like a key outside. You guys like the blue too? Yeah, I think so too. It makes the a whole mani pop more. Patty, you'll have to finish me in on that story. So and the, yeah, the sleeve and the ring are from Looney Lou Designs, and you can save there with my code, which is Tara Ten. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you both for being here. I love you girls so much. Um, I'll be back at 11 tomorrow for sure. Have a wonderful afternoon and evening. Enjoy your day off. The rest of your day off, Michelle. Bye, guys. Patty, drive safe. Text me when you get there.